What is the fall? Genesis 3 is one of the most important chapters in the entire Bible because it explains the source and solution for sin and death in detail. We read how the human rebellion against God that began with the first sin is foolish and tragic. The scene is the garden made by God for the first people to live in together without sin and its effects. There God speaks as a father to Adam and Eve, giving them complete freedom to enjoy all of creation, except partaking of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which was forbidden. But the serpent marks the beginning of chaos in creation. The serpent is Satan, according to Revelation chapter 12, verse 9 and 22. Satan began by tempting Eve to mistrust God's word by changing its meaning, just as he did when tempting Jesus in Matthew 4, verses 1 through 11. Rather than rebuking Satan, Eve entertained his lies and was deceived by his arguments. Satan was so bold as to accuse God of being a liar and to tempt the pride of Adam and Eve by declaring that if they disobeyed God, they could in effect become his peer and God's themselves. Eve was faced with either trusting her own judgment or God's warning that it was deadly. Satan promised that upon sinning against God, they would become like God. Yet they were already like God by virtue of the fact he made them in his image and likeness. Eve believed Satan over God and chose pride over humility by partaking of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and sin against God. While all of this occurred, Adam stood by silently, failing to lead his family in godliness. Adam then joined his wife's sin of commission, bringing shame, distrust, and separation between Adam and Eve and between them and God. This included hiding from God and one another and covering themselves, as sinners have done in varying ways ever since. God then came looking for the man holding him responsible for the sinful condition of his family as its head. Rather than repenting of his sin, Adam essentially argued with God by blaming Eve for his sin and blaming God for making Eve. Eve too failed to repent of her sin and blamed the serpent for deceiving her. As a result of the fall, the brokenness of sin has continued ever since. A respect for authority was replaced by rebellion. A clear conscience was replaced by guilt and shame. A blessing was replaced by physical, spiritual, and eternal punishment. Viewing God as a friend to walk with was replaced by viewing him as an enemy to hide from. Trust was replaced by fear. Love was replaced by indifference and even hatred. Intimacy with God was replaced by separation from God. Freedom to obey God was replaced by enslavement to sin. Honesty was replaced with lying and deceit. Self-sacrifice was replaced by self-centeredness and peace was replaced by restlessness. Responsibility was replaced by blaming. Authenticity was replaced by hiding.